Hello people, it's Cole. I'm so glad you're here to hang out with me today. So today we have a very well-loved and weathered issue of First Magazine for Women. So this is January 3rd, 1994. You can see we have gorgeous, stunning icon Rita... Rita? <laughs> gorgeous, stunning icon Reba McIntyre on the cover, looking um, sort of extremely saturated. They really dialed that up. Her eyes are the bluest blue, and who doesn't love Reba? And I'll give you a little peek of the back. It is an ad for Vibrance Shampoo and Conditioner. Not familiar with this brand. I, it's Vibrance. We'll get a better look at that too later on. Let's just jump into it. Okay. First, Magazine for Women, January 3rd, 1994. Again, we have Reba McIntyre on the cover. Well, I mentioned before that the coloring is weird. It's almost like it's a like a colorized black and white photo because everything is so saturated and like super flat or something. That doesn't mean I don't like it because I do like it. It's just very odd. It looks like Susan Powder will be helping us with a low fat meal makeover. And I don't know if you all know who Susan Powder is, but uh, she's incredible. And I am <laughs> very much looking forward to seeing that before I even open this up. I told you this was like really a beat up. The cover is completely detached from the <laughs> insides of the magazine, unfortunately. So after I open up the cover here, I'm gonna just set that aside so it's not like sliding all over the place. Okay. All right, so right inside the cover here is a full page ad for Sarah Coventry sunglasses. Okay, now I'm gonna ditch the cover. This Tyson Chicken Tenders ad <laughs> with this enormous zoomed in cartoon face licking his little lips. What child that you know eats chicken tenders off of a fork? Over here is an ad for Selsun Gold for women only. And down here, the scripty purple for women font. I am breaking all the rules by looking at this ad and also really looking at this magazine, which is first for women, using my forbidden male gaze to notice that <laughs> this line here says, poo made just for you. <laughs> so I guess that's what happens when men look at things like this. They see a poop joke. Ooh, treat yourself, beautiful, the spirally textured gold packaging over here. You know, lots of, this was like, of course, the, the height of super brassy, brassy yellow gold, which I just love brassy yellow gold. Oh my God, sport fashion, Carrera sport glasses. Not, uh, not sunglasses, sport glasses. This is a really cool, really large, full ad of two bikers, I guess, wearing sport glasses. The very frank looking woman just getting real, leaning in to talk to you about vaginal yeast cream. <laughs> Some of the most beautiful women in the world are just my size. These are just my size uh, bras, panties, and hosiery. Great action shot of our just my size model walking with a hot guy. She has these really cool textured like checkerboard fabric textured pumps these are awesome you can barely see it it's really subtle but really beautiful there's those panties <laughs> i guess this is the panties that she's wearing over here okay susan powder i used to have on vhs it's a video about grocery shopping where she's in a grocery store uh talking about how to buy all food that is fat free uh, she basically is like, like if a mannequin, like a bald headed mannequin with no wig came to life and then started yelling at you <laughs> about eating low fat foods. That is a, that is Susan Powder. Stop the insanity. That's her thing. Stop the insanity, shrieks Susan Powder, the crew cut fitness crusader. <laughs> on her TV infomercial. Oh yeah, she comes from like an infomercial background. Ugh, so good. Here's another one of these great Double Day Book Club 
ads with all of the different books you can order, five for a dollar. I like this, really, really like this black and white photograph. It's sort of almost like a sepia tone picture of a, a woman on a cozy chair, all curled up with her capri pants and a sweater thrown over the shoulders, just dreaming away as she reads one of her inexpensive double day books. Psych yourself up. Dion Warwick <laughs> is a psychic. So this is a, a personal psychic friendship phone line, which I don't think I've ever heard or seen psych yourself up for psychics. That's kind of genius. I really like that. Yikes, my boss asked me to sleep with him. There's, there's a lot of, I have definitely noticed in these earlier, early 90s magazines that there's a lot of focus on sexual harassment. It was on the cover too. Ha <laughs> fortunately for me, I have the cover right here. <laughs> uh, my boss asked me, asked me to sleep with him. A lot of focus on sexual harassment stuff, which were, you know, were coming off of the Anita Hill hearings. This was very much in public discussion. People were interested in talking and learning about this and preventing it. This is also sort of like the origin of those sexual harassment tapes, like videos you have to watch when you like start a new job or something. It has a connotation of being this soft focus, dated kind of 90s looking production. Over here is a, an ad for First, inside of First, on the cover of this issue, which my god, as much as I love my Reba, how wonderful would it be to have an Elizabeth Taylor first magazine. This is so cool. She looks incredible. And she has the same weird, like super saturated color. Look at how white and terrifying her eyes are. <laughs> oh my God. Tell everyone you've got one of those nasty winter coughs. Gather all those magazines you've been meeting to get to, um, like First Magazine, you mean? And spend the day reading them, eating chips in bed. There's some ice cream. Here's Christy Turlington on the cover of something. Oh, and look at this. Ah, look at this phone! This cordless phone with this retractable metal antenna. I love that little vintage technology peek. Yes, here's our cover girl, Reba. Reba's Down Home Christmas. I love Reba in, in all of her many style um, incarnations. I really, really like Reba with this big poodle hair, this biggest, hugest perm with these bangs. Ugh, she just looks so good and so country. Yes, look at that. Oh my God. This is like really actually what a poodle looks like. <laughs> the, the circle in the front and then the poodle ears on the side. She has a white turtleneck under a embroidered white sweatshirt. Very, very 90s holiday. This is just, oh, remember when I looked through the Country Woman magazine and everyone was wearing this? <laughs> the Country Woman Christmas issue. Reba must have read it too, because she's wearing that as well. Oh, and there's a little letter, a little fake letter from Reba right here. Love, Reba. Body signals. Oh my god, this text with this erratic heartbeat line in these blue graphic circles over this woman's back and over her head. Ugh, the colors, the graphic design, the everything. You can't beat this. This is beautiful. I also love her outfit. I feel like I would like to wear an outfit like this. White pants with brown loafers and white socks with a turtleneck. Yes. Oh my God, they're hitting me again. She's got a stomach problem now. Ugh. You guys know I love these superimposed graphic indicators over photographs. This is like my, my dream <laughs> scenario, <laughs> especially with the uh, overacting poses and stuff. It's so fun. I mean, it sounds weird to say that it's I'm having fun lo looking at someone in pain, but you know, it's fun because it's so fake and so controlled and produced. Sweet treats, ooh, wow. I love this uh, just straight up glass of liquor. <laughs> you don't see that very often <laughs> in <laughs> these food spreads in magazines. Oh, 
I love glasses ads. These glasses are really, really cute. They have no lenses at all. Why not? Just feel the glasses fantasy. Who needs the lenses? This woman looks beautiful. You can see she's also got this crazy color correcting. Her eyes are these like screaming white slivers inside of her soft focus golden face. Thea Vidali. I don't, I don't know her, but I can see that Brandy, as like a young teen, was on the Thea show. Does anyone know Thea? Oh wow, dazzling holiday hair and makeup. A sparkling headband instantly enlivens a holiday mood. That's so cute. Has anyone ever been to a salon, especially in the past? Salons that had those gigantic hair books with full of these like, <laughs> in a range just like this too, these photos of, of hairstyles that you could theoretically asked for at the salon. I remember that my grandma worked at a hair salon as a receptionist for years, and that's where I would get my hair cut, and they had those hair books in the waiting room, and I lived as a little gay boy. I lived for the hair books. Oh wow, home for the holidays. Ugh, these fashion features are, they just make me, I'm like smiling so big right now. <laughs> I love the staging, the, I love the, the posing, I have this like tiptoeing in with this sheer lace skirt, which is awesome, first of all. Floor length, not floor length, ankle length, sheer lace skirt, so cool. She's holding this gigantic wicker basket full of golden tinsel, Miss Santa. And then over here with your empty cup of tea, you know, just po posed, waiting for the guests to arrive. Incredible volume in the hair. This is it's like Cindy Crawford volume. Yes. Oh my God, this is such a cool look. Completely red. Red shawl, red lip, red dress, tights, shoes, all the same tone, and all red gifts. And these tights are like sheer, red sheer tights. How crazy, <laughs> how unhinged would you have to be? But yet it's still just amazing. And she looks cute too. Much more relaxed look. Do love the pose, especially, especially the uh, hand modeling. And this shoe with this flared out little heel. Looks like it's the same models in all of the pictures. This model is truly, truly the gift giver. She's got champagne really cool shoes with a sling back that's like a, a, a chain like a chanel leather woven gold chain that's beautiful just vivacious wouldn't you say this champagne this pose this is really um giving me monica from the first season of friends it's the vest with no shirt it's the high black pants it's the choker it's the flippy, high volume, shoulder length hair, bordering on a Rachel. I feel like I've never seen a first aid kit ad in a, in a magazine like this before, but I'm really uh, drawn to this blue and red and yellow punchy color scheme. Shopper's Showcase, it says. Work-wise, lights, cameras, you're hired. Ooh, this is about, uh, Video interviews? Like interviewing remotely for jobs? Video resume. Oh my god, that's so, so ahead of its time, wouldn't you say? But the video is like, <laughs> like a VHS tape. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, oh my god, whoa. This paper towel pattern, this bounty paper towel pattern, medleys, brought me back to a place that I completely forgot about. Maybe it's asking too much to, to ask you if you recognize this paper towel pattern, but I totally do. I remember this in having this as a kid in my house. We had these paper towels with this cute little like sampler style symmetrical house with trees. That is so crazy. Mom, if you're watching this video, do you remember these paper towels? <laughs> ah, more Vienna line glasses. These are sunglasses this time. Decorating with quilts, wonderful, super graphic, 
quilt pattern here, black and then different colors. I love black and brown together. So this is like, I'm really into this. Oh, whoa, using a false size quilt as a shower curtain. Isn't that disgusting? I feel like that would get, I know that there's like a plastic liner inside. That just seems really nasty to me <laughs> and very heavy. Oh no, not again. Another yeast infection suppository ad. Did yeast infections used to be like a really big thing, like very common? Or are they still common, but there's just not so many paper and printed ads for their products anymore? Hmm. Anyway, we have this very sad looking woman. She can barely show her face. She's so embarrassed. Okay, we're coming towards the end here. A very ugly comic called Making Ends Meet. Oh, so this is a, our main character. I don't even know what her name is. Sweetheart, I guess. Twirling her hair, talking on the phone to her mother. That's her mother. You can tell by the matronly <laughs> spiky hairdo. Slam. Oh, okay. Let me go get the cover again. Quickly, quickly reassemble. Okay, uh, there we go. So, uh, it's an ad for Amico. I don't care about that. And on the back, our Vibrance shampoo and conditioner, moisture rich. I really like these little like primary color shapes, triangle, circle, square. Really nice, clean, simple shapes and lines. This dotted line thing. And our beautiful model with perfect, beautiful model hair gives your hair the strength to shine. So that's it. First for women, January 3rd, 1994. Well, I hope you enjoyed that flip through. I wish I could afford the rights to purchase Reba McIntyre songs to play in the background of this video. Um, but unfortunately, you'll have to accept my royalty free fun jazz. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next Sunday for my next one. And until then, take care.